and close forever trying to imitate the cooking channel and now the cup has broken um, what should we do about it baby Oh no, I'm not going to weld that. I think we're just going to do some clever folding. And it's just going to go back in the spot. I think if we uh, fold the lip up and over, and then tuck this guy back under and squeeze it back together, it should fold pretty good. I think it's going to work out nice. Okay, so we flip the cup over, and then we start poking at the lip to expand it a bit so that we can fit the, this the shoehorn it in there okay so um trying to fold that back over is not working so i'm going to try to put a couple bends in the handle where it originally went put it like that bend it down bend it back in and then make it come back out I'm gonna shorten up the handle of some, but hopefully it's gonna work still. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Mm. Yeah, bring your pebble over to the front, James. Jeez. There's nothing m motivating like the cooking show in the background. So, uh, yeah. No, I'm being for real. It's very motivating. It's like sounds really cool. You know? It really motivates me to keep going. It's like da 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 na da da na da da na 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 na. Hopefully that works. Otherwise it's a nice musical instrument. going at it I guess okay so now we put a couple more bends in it and now we have the one cup 250 not bad eh? let's try it out Not bad. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. See you guys next episode for the uh, office stapler. Made out of one of these guys. Because like, it's not like you can just go out and buy an office stapler nowadays. I guess to, just to make do with one of these at home. The tough part is making the pin fold automatically. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and as always, ciao for now. And uh, thanks for watching.